She reads 13,000 words a minute, and she's only 13 years old. Would you welcome Beth Jaffe? Beth! All right, now, Ed, what are you going to do here to show us? All right, this is a little demonstration, John. We're going to pit uh, this 13-year-old against you, sir. And, um... <laughs> It's a book by uh, Barbara Brown, Ph.D. It's about biofeedback, new mind, new body. You've been meaning to read this anyway. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, what, what do you want me to do? Here's how we do this. I have Neither the, one of us have seen this no. book. I have the guidelines here. Uh, you'll start reading on page 19, the beginning of chapter number one, and you read through page 34. If you wish, you may reread if time permits. <laughs> I'll be here when Snyder's trying to get on the air. They start at page right, 19. Yes. You have one minute to read from page one, 19 to page 34. Oh, come on. <laughs> now turn to page 19 right. and get ready. Page 19. All right, I have need some help here on a clock. I'll time it off right here. Start. Okay, are we ready? You have page 19? All right, begin. If you get to the graphs, ignore them. Yes. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Time is up. Now, let's see. Beth got to page... Oh, oh, second time through, she got to page 20. After she'd gone to 39, she went back. I'm on page 20 now. All right. For the first time. Yeah. Well, she'll have a little edge, I guess, on you with the quiz, but... Um... <laughs> Here's the first question, and I think, in fairness, you should have a chance to answer it first, John. Certainly. Who discovered that in the leg nerves of headless frogs that the energy of electricity could flow in instant current and move its enormous power from here to anywhere? The name of the book is called New Mind, New Body. <laughs> Do you know that answer, Mr. Carson? You've got to be kidding. No, I don't know that answer. Do you? Mm -hmm. What is it? Luigi Giovanni. That's exactly right. All right, what disturbs... Now, what disturbed the author in her childhood? A trauma, that you might say, that influenced her discovery of biofeedback techniques. By the way, this was on page 20, so that you'll probably know this. What was it? Uh, that trauma was when she, um, during the winter of 1939, where she uh, was dressing, ready to go to school, and backed into a cold doorknob. <laughs> Thought I'd know? take a shot in the dark. You dummies didn't know either, did you? See if Beth knows. Do you know? That was when she was talking to her friends, and she found out that when they closed their eyes, they could see colors. And when she closed her eyes, she could only see gray, and that worried her. That's exactly right. All right. <laughs> now, Same question book. number three... <laughs> Remember, John, these questions are for both of you. I know. No. I know. <laughs> when did, uh, what, rather, what did Dr. Brown, the author, discover about the brain of cats? <laughs> well, uh, he's a very secretive man. <laughs> he didn't... Barbara Brown. That's what? Barbara Brown. Uh, Barbara Brown, excuse yeah. me. Barbara Brown. That's on the cover. <laughs> of course. I, I knew Dr. Brown. That's right here on the cover. I could see that. I was cheating. I read Barbara Brown. I thought it was a man. <laughs> He, uh, he found that the brains of cats uh, were uh, extremely small. <laughs> That's not right. What is it, Beth? That they responded to color. They can discriminate color. That's right. All right? That's because... That's right. 
because the brain is very small and they don't have much to think of us. <laughs> All right, now this one, John, you probably will get this one. What was the name of the machine the author used in her first work with her first subject to help them develop control of their alpha waves? That was the Galva spectrometer. We will accept just initials on this. Uh, GD. <laughs> Let me put it properly, if you have one-third of the question right. One of the initials is G. But what is the proper name of the machine? D-E-G. D-E-G. And you know the name? Do you know how to pronounce it? It's a tough word. Electroencephalogram. That's right. Exactly right. Electroencephalogram. I want you to know, actually, that this young lady did not see this book until they were placed down here tonight. Absolutely did not see it. And these are legitimate questions from this.